guys and welcome back to my channel where we spill tea left, right, and everywhere in between. In today's video, we are talking about Tana Mojo and her support of incest, <laughs> the Met Gala's fashion statements, Trisha Paytas needing more money, and a quick update on the Kardashian slash Black China lawsuit. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. There is a lot to get into, so let's cozy up and spill some tea. We have talked about Tana Mojo a couple of times recently, and the last time that we covered her most recent upload to her main channel, we said that it was nice to have seen her. Well, it didn't take too long for her to do something weird and make us almost regret having ever missed her to begin with. So this week, Tana posted a new podcast episode where she had Stella Barry as a guest. So Stella is an OnlyFans star and I can't tell you her screen name here, but she's known for um like a specific part of her body, like the back door. Can I say the back door? Okay, well, back door princess is her name. <laughs> First of all, has, I think there's something so special about someone who just really doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, and like, no shame. It's, it's empowering, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even just with that, like, that you just don't give a fuck. You're like, I'm here to do whatever I want to do. Of course, we love self-sufficient, confident, not given a fuck queen, am I right? But some things, though, some things we should care about. Incest stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it's obviously the biggest category I'm No. Out. Oh, God. The biggest genre is amateur incest taboo porn. Stella says that because P-Hop doesn't allow you to say mom, me and son or whatever you have to include the use of step in there to get the content published probably because that's fucking gross and also illegal right like i was gonna do a quick google search to see if there are any places where incest is not illegal but i legit don't want that shit on my search history and my fbi agent probably already keeps a pretty hard eye on me because of all of this that's so gross. I'm kind of scared to open this picture. None of the vlog is everywhere. But yeah, in this picture, like, Trisha is kissing Riley and Lena is just sitting there and there's some sort of weird machine. And Lena has, like, this little PlayStation remote control thing. I don't know, like, are they gaming? <laughs> oh my god, you guys, what is this? And this is so gross. Like, stuff is happening. There's water there. It doesn't stop there, you guys. I never didn't even know that when I did the first collab with Hannah. I had no, my cousin. Wait, so I had no cousin, idea. Wait, wait. My cousin. I'm literally calling the cops. So is no cousin idea. the loophole? Like, can you say cousin? You might be able to say cousin, but I don't even risk it. Yeah. yeah. Everyone already knows we're cousins from <laughs> TikTok and Twitter, that we don't even say anything about cousin. Really, yeah. I'm like speechless. Not Tana cheering her on. Oh my God. With my type of business model, it's a real girl yeah. doing real things in her real life. So it's not like, playing a stepdaughter anymore yeah. even though i have done that yeah it's like wrong with you that, get to they get to see a real girl with her real cousin like yeah. actually and having real it. orgasms what in the fuck i wasn't planning on having my skin crawl off my body today but there you go tana loves this girl and seemingly is taking notes throughout their interview for how she would possibly like to live her own life right. when you don't need anything else from a man except just vibes <laughs> <laughs> You're enabling the fuck out of me right now. I'm not sure if Tana thinks that on some level she has been choosing an upstanding citizen type of guy that's super reliable and nice, but it's almost like she is ready to throw all caution to the wind and expand her dating pool into further territory. Fuck in ditches on the side of the road, and I've never lived so fully. Like, I think that you're inspiring that is the my point. new dreams. That is a she is art. You are <laughs> art. I'm not kidding you. I'm gonna call you every time I wanna make a decision. I am not joking. Tana, you are doing fine in the field of things that should not be done. You really don't gotta push it anymore. So were you cousins by marriage or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally throwing up. Stella does clarify that her cousin that she collabed with was a cousin by marriage. And she says that that is why it's not a big deal and no different than hooking up with someone random. But I still gotta disagree that it's completely gross, you know? Sure, it may not be as bad as being blood related, but it still gives me the heebie-jeebies and I'm not here for it. Would but... I fall in love with my baby brother? Well, don't <laughs> take it. Just his brother. Just let's pretend he's 25. Like, come on. <laughs> Were we half related? Oh, for the love of God. No, no, no. I don't, I you know what's, you. I don't. They're joking, but honestly, still ew. See, and I would love to have that like gray area. Like, I would, like, <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't. I was gonna say something so fucking awful, but my lawyer's here, so I won't. <laughs> You're getting like a death. I think plenty was already said that was quite bad, so I'm not sure how much worse it could have gotten should the lawyer not have been around. And to be honest, I'm glad that we didn't hear whatever it was out there to come out of her mouth. I usually toss controversial topics down into the comments because I truly love to see the discussion and get some insight into what you guys think and have to say about things, but this one, I'm not gonna ask. Of course, speak your minds, but this one is icky. Following this up pretty quickly though, the girls released another podcast episode where they do apologize. Like owe them an apology or something, aren't they mad at us? Okay, so we, we were not trying to normalize <laughs> incest. No I sentence. do get how it came across that I, way. I now understand that cosplaying as cousins. I, I get where it's a little creepy wrong. and weird and like Tana says that incest is of course not okay and she understands that even pretending to be cousins could be seen as not okay, but with it being the most popular genre in the industry, on some level it must be acceptable, right? While I sort of do see what she might be trying to say or put across, again, no. There's another quote-unquote genre, for lack of better terms, out there that is the worst thing in the world, and it is incredibly common, more so than it should be, and that genre is not okay on any level ever. So popularity doesn't equal okay a lot of times. I do admire how like open she is. It's not like I like disagree. I like I stand by what yeah, I was saying. I mean, just I love the I'm sorry, but I meant what I did angle. The girls explain that when you have a super raunchy guest like that, you want to make them feel comfortable. So they couldn't exactly sit there and be like, ew, you freak. But at the same time, they're saying that it was literally all fine because Sal and the girl are only cousins by marriage. Maybe Don't fuck your real cousins, like for sure. And maybe just maybe cosplaying even as a cousin is wrong. Yeah, we yeah we're we sorry learn. about that. We won't, well, you know, our next guest will be like a priest. <laughs> Maybe we should stay away from the priest too. Moving on, I really want to talk about the Met Gala outfits for a second because some of them are literally just hilarious and I just want to show you in case maybe you haven't seen them yet. So we are going to very quickly move through a best and worst dress list from the Met Gala 2022. While I love fashion, this is not a fashion channel, so we will just be mentioning who looked amazing and who could have done a little better without actually fully breaking down the outfits of who the designers were. First up, Vanessa Hudgens killed it. Cardi B killed it. Blake Lively, stunning. Always stunning. Megan Thee Stallion, literally obsessed with her and her look. Okay, compliments have been handed out. Now I want to talk about the ugly ones. Disclaimer, the outfits, in my opinion, were ugly, not the people, I'm not a bully. First up, Hillary Clinton, ill-fitting, boring color, over it, go home. Next up, maybe a hot take, but I hate Alicia Keys' dress. Like, girl, we get it, New York City for life. I fully understand, but I cannot with this fit, please. And lastly, and certainly least and worst, we have Kylie Jenner. While usually the Kardashian-Jenner clan look impeccable with some of the best access to outfits and garments, Jenner flopped so hard on this fit, I'm like physically angry. <laughs> the hat with the birdcage veil and the t-shirt top thing with the mesh insert tied together with a ball gown skirt, I'm incredibly disgusted by this outfit. Shame! While we are speaking on the Kardashian gens real quick though, let's mention briefly the trial that they've been involved in. Because we've covered quite a bit up until now, we might as well toss you the update that Black China has lost the defamation portion of the case. And to be honest, I kind of saw that coming and it's not the part that I'm more interested in. The interesting part is that the Kardashians didn't show up to court and went to the Met Gala instead. So Kylie could flex this toilet paper looking monstrosity. After a 10 hour deliberation, the jury handed in their decision saying that no member of the Kardashian family intentionally interfered with the E! Entertainment Network's decision to cut the show. Jurors actually had the capability of making a split decision when it came to this defamation case, but they gave the Kardashians what is being called a clean sweep 
and have awarded China with nothing. During the verdict, China allegedly had no visible reaction to the news, and while the Kardashian-Jenner clan were at every other trial during the case, as I said, they did not attend the verdict and went to the Met Gala instead. Imagine being China in this situation, like the people you're suing don't even show up to the verdict and instead go to a super famous and glittery party and you lose. <laughs> Yikes. And in more yikes news, Trisha Paytas posted a bump date to her family channel and is hoping to win the lottery. This bitch, out here with all of her insanely expensive handbags and cars and vacations and 1,000 weddings, hopes to win the lottery. We got the Powerball for tonight, $370 million. If we won $350 million, we don't have big plans for it. There's just a house I want that's $8 million, that's it. And then I'd give like a million to each of our family members and then get a chef. She breaks down the lottery math and says that after taxes, it's like only 220 million. And then if you go with the cash option, it's like 180 million, like no biggie. So I would do music videos, you do your water museum. Oh, Disneyland VIP all the time. <laughs> for sure that. Dear God, it's me, Ray. Please don't give Trisha the lottery. I don't think we need more music videos from her. I usually save my wishes for more positive things as opposed to the hope of taking something away from someone else, but I would see this more as something that we could all be saved from. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. No more of that, please. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads as we do post new videos every single day. And for now, let's share some eye bleach. And I really hope one of you wins the lottery this week. So Treasure Paytas doesn't. <laughs>